garden. There's a, uh, rows of flowers. There's a daisies. We are so unique individually ourselves. Well, you're That's definitely I, unique. But Dae Young, yes. before we go any further, at this point in the show, I have to remind our listeners that you're listening to The Secrets of Success. My name is Bill Haran. This show is produced at the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. We'll be right back after this brief intermission. Um, hello, it's me. The designer jeans in your closet. The back of your closet. What am I doing here? Would you keep caviar in the back of your fridge with the ketchup and old milk? Yeah, I don't think so. So, what happened to us? I mean, have you seen my label? I used to summer in the Hamptons, and now I'm stuck behind a pair of sweats. Sure, I never really fit you quite right, and one of my pockets is so small you can't even squeeze your hand into it. But it's all about the look. And I look good. I need to get back out on the scene, so I can be seen. You know, going to fancy parties, getting expensive iced coffees, Sunday fun days, okay? So take me to Goodwill, where I can really make a difference. Your donations to Goodwill create new jobs, training programs, and education assistance for people in your community. To find your nearest donation center, go to goodwill.org. Donate stuff. Create jobs. A message from Goodwill and the Ad Council. Welcome back. You're listening to The Secrets of Success. I'm your host, Bill Haran, and today we're speaking with Great Grandmaster Tay Young Kim, author of Seven Steps to Inner Power. Tay Young, you were telling us so much about your life story, which was an amazing uh, history to grow up in and to live through. Um, in your book, you talk about the silent master. Yeah. Who in our life is the silent master? Who are you referring to when you use that term? So when I say silent master, Bill, we all have, or you can call intuition, or sixth sense, or guts, whatever. And many times, we do not learn to listening and within our life self. I'm sure that everyone have that experience. When you're talking about it in a silent master, so I named it that as a silent master, because many times, oh God, this is what I fear, but then you erase that one. And I learned to really listening within myself is called all the information. But when you quiet your mind, that many things will spark you. It will it's energize you. That's what I call silent master. Yes. So we have to quiet our mind. And uh, you say, um, and I love this term, you say fear of mistakes is mental laziness. Can you talk about that a little bit? <laughs> yes. Because I think that we are our own once worst enemy. You know that. Everybody know that. But what I want to really uh, diving in there, the fear of a mistake is on the mental laziness. I mean, because many people, they slavery from their own thought. They will refuse to be challenged, go forward. And I think that entire my life, I don't have a choice but challenging. I cannot afford to just sit back and not doing it. So I have to constantly motion and moving. I have to constantly knocking door and I have to constantly asking questions. I think that's what, you know, I mean, we, that we, in most of the cases, they don't want to make a mistake because they don't want to make a foolish out of it. They afraid of the, what other people are thinking about it. And we judge ourselves very harshly. That's why I'm saying that fear of a mistake is really mental laziness. We should not have that fear and, and trap us. We should move forward. And I give myself permission that it's okay I make a mistake. It's all right. I said, make a fantastic mistake. Why? Mistake it is giving you feedback. You know, that's why I say, like, you know, Thomas Edison is saying that he didn't say he made a mistake. He said, I learned 10,000 different ways to not to do that direction. <laughs> that means let's go forward. You know, let's really challenge it forward. It's something like you have, you know, 
girl, you like it, or boy, you like it, and, you know, you don't just say it once and move back. Those many people does that. But some people really persistent, so you're knocking the door. That's what I mean. Let the, your mind freely and uh, go after. Don't let the, your worst enemy and trap you down. Yes, hey, Ian, I, I just want to audience, uh, sometimes uh, people want to write down a saying when uh, uh, there's at least one in each show that really resonates with us, and it's fear of mistakes is meant laziness and for a lot of us i think if we think about that it's really what it is if we're uh, willing to do a little homework find out get a little information do a little research we can always overcome a lot of mistakes and make life, life's path a lot easier and if someone didn't hear the beginning of our show tae young kim grew up in korea she was considered a curse being a female from the day she was born so that anything bad that happened to her family came back and was blamed on her uh, when she had a friend the friend was blown up by a bomb she came to america even though she couldn't speak english well at all she had three different jobs and she volunteered time to teach martial arts and today she's an entrepreneur a writer and a great grandmaster tay young kim i'd like you to tell our audience uh, if they want to know more about this what is that website they should go to that website and they should go www. T A E Y U N K I M dot com. And then also you can go Amazon dot com. Also you can go to Barnes and Noble to get the books. Yes. And when you say the book, I want our audience to know because sometimes people are tuning in, they're driving. The book is Seven Steps to Inner Power. It's by yes. our guest, T A E. How to Break Through the Awesome. How yes. to Break Through to Awesome. Yes, I like the yes. way you say that. <laughs> Tay Young Kim, T A T A E Y U N. K-I-M, and I'll tell our audience, that when you read the first 25 pages, you'll swear you're reading a movie script because it's, you, you feel so bad that he, it's, this was a time when girls in Korea, females, were considered worthless. Their only use, as um, Tae Young uh, told us, was to get married and have 12 children. And uh, in her case, she intentionally uh, spilled hot tea on the marriage uh, arranger so that this wouldn't happen to her, and she came to America. Now, Tae Young, um, you say the most important question. In your book, I think it's on page 31, you say the most important question is, who am I? Why is that question so important? You know, um, it's very important to me because I've been told all my life who I am and under the limit of their opinions. And they, they have, so they fixed their mind telling me that I supposed to learn how to cook and saw like, a, you know, the 12 sons. That's what I've been beating my ears, my mind and telling me that. And I find that is how wrong and really they are. Even now they're, they're telling me, oh, don't you want to be like an Oprah Winfrey? I said, oh, of course not. I don't want to be like Oprah Winfrey. And I say, Everybody be looks like it. Everybody success like a Bill Gate or ever. Then this world planet is very boring place, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> right. So we are. Who am I? And I don't want to be like anybody. I want continuously my last breath, uncovering, discovering who I am, and I'm still learning and who I am. I think that is very important because many. Times people they already make a decision who they are, but it is not truth. Every year go by, time pass. You're learning. Oh, such a food. You don't think you like that, but then you know, ten, twenty years later, it become your favorite food. It's such a music. You don't like that. Then you know, ten, twenty years right now, because life itself is our teacher. We are in a classroom and our journey, life is our teacher. That is uh, we continuously uncovering. Just like this way up there, when a history is saying that Columbus discovered all is wrong. You know what I say? The, that history is wrong. Columbus did not discover all is wrong. He uncovered all is wrong. Why is that? Because art was always wrong. So that, like that, who am I? I like what you I, say. He didn't discover, he uncovered, right? That's right, because art was always wrong. <laughs> well, Many you know... 
I'm hoping our audience today is taking this to heart because you say the key question is, who am I? And then you go on to say, you are where you are today because of the way you answer this question. And I think if our audience sits and thinks for a minute, they'll agree with you. Now, you you have another story in the book, and I just have to get this in before we hit the end of the show. You talk about thoughts creating reality. Yes. And I want you to tell our audience uh, the story of part of your training. You had to jump in freezing water. Can you tell us that story? <laughs> yes. Well, <clears throat> I was training, and one day my master started asking me, jump on it. There's a pool, a pond of water. Very cold. It's a world it's a, it's ice, and the snow is everywhere. In my mind, I thought, so he's crazy. He want me to undress, go there, of course, I have to wear my underwear. But because he, he's the one, only the one who never told me I'm supposed to learn how to cook and so be like everybody else. He the one broke himself 5,000 years old and tradition. So I say, yes, sir. And when I went inside, of course, it's very cold. I feel like all my flesh had been cut by in a knife. But then he say, be calm. I touch you. Breathe and bring the life force. Be one with. And just direct your energy. So that means I have to switch how I'm thinking. Yes, I remember. If he, he say, if you let this environment taking over you, you can never be who you can be. Because a life journey is like that. And nothing is a red carpet open up. And so this is for you. So I have to create those red carpet. I have to create my heavenly life. So when I was in there, I remember I breathed, and my initial reaction of fear and coldness and despair, then I learning, uncovering my being. I was so calm. I was so peaceful. Then it's snow and ice start melting around me. Then my body is creating and the steam's coming up. As soon I even forgot where I was, it was a so amazing experience. Then my master told me, life is like that way. Nothing going to be easy for you. And it is my choice how I direct my thinking. So that's what I really believe. Your thoughts create your reality. I really want to tell everyone one who's also listening challenging me check it out when you believe that you can be when it's, it's like this way there when you're hungry you're thinking about you want to eat the food and when you are thirsty you think about you're drinking the water when you go to bathroom you think about you know it is a number one and number two <laughs> you are going <laughs> I'm sorry, we're just running out of time. And before we wrap up the show, I want our audience to know the book is Seven Steps to Inner Power. It's by our guest, Tay, T-A-E, Y-U-N-K-I-M. She is a great grandmaster of martial arts. Tay Young Kim, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm sorry we have to rush, but we have to wrap up at this time. We'd like to remind our audience that you've been listening to The Secrets of Success on the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm your host, Bill Horan, asking you to please join us again next week at the same time when we will continue our journey to success.